Hi everyone. It's been a little over seven weeks now since I uploaded my last video, so I wanted to take a moment to talk about what I've been doing over the past seven weeks and hopefully what will be happening in the upcoming weeks. So the last thing I was doing is working on the hot goblin. So what I've showed you before is how to make these drive units. And what I wanted to do next is fix up the electronics so that I could drive those motors and then actually propel the hobgoblin forward. Now most of that work is complete. That's on this plate over here. And so the only thing I still need to do is put a few components on this piece of perf board, solder a few wires on there, and then everything should work, hopefully. So I'm hoping to show you that soon. And then there will also be a few other small modifications to the hobgoblin chassis itself. But we'll get into that in more detail once that video drops. Now, on my channel I have a few short videos talking about a few different aspects of the design of a medical ventilator. And I've also posted a long format video on this particular unit over here, uh, which is a medical ventilator prototype that I constructed with the help of Air Duan. Now, I've also been working with another group working on these ventilators, which is Polyvent. And about three weeks ago, um, they invited me to come with them to the city of Linz to build a prototype with them there. And that is this unit over here. Now, of course, before going to Linz and actually starting to build, uh, there is some work that you have to do before that. Uh, you have to find and order all your parts, uh, do some CAD work, do some design work. You want to get that squared away before you go so that once you get there, you can just focus on building it. Um, so the build there has been a great success. Uh, the mayor liked it, uh, the media liked it. Overall, just a really successful build, and I'm really happy with that. Um, and so in the near future, you can also expect me to take a longer look at how that particular unit works in the same kind of vein that I also did a 30 minute video on that unit. Um, when it comes to the gear videos, um, I am planning on doing part 4 on my series on gears quite soon. Uh, so that will be about ring gears. Um, but I also want to include some content there about how to use ring gears in the context of a planetary gear set. Um, so I need to do a little bit more research there to make sure that I you know, do that right. And of course also some time to ensure that I present it in a way that is understandable. In the meantime I've also found a pretty good method for designing bevel gears which I will present too so that will be part 5 in that series um, and I'm also looking into scroll gears and worm gears so there will be a little bit more than uh, the original four parts that I planned so at least part 5 and maybe part 6 and 7 as well. So I apologize for being a bad YouTuber over the past seven weeks uh, and I hope to get back into it in the upcoming few weeks. Thanks again for watching and have a good night.